expenses and what if the driver doesn't have insurance or enough insurance it's a very real question considering the recent headlines joining me now local attorney tom sinus whose law firm specializes in auto law and michigan no-fault cases we've seen someone uh, a child that's been hit a crosswalk we've seen little gabriel who was hit sledding uh, hit by a, a hit and run driver and there is substantial bills when something like that happens hopefully the child will pull through but you got to think about the financial aspect too you do. These are just absolutely heart-wrenching cases for anybody, for particularly parents like me. Um, and it does raise the question that, some, that we all need to think about, which is, have we made the right decision when we buy auto insurance? You can't uh, buy auto insurance passively. It's one of the most important decisions you're going to make when you're trying to decide how to protect your family and how to protect yourself financially. So. What, what this case brought to mind when I thought about little Gabriel and I thought about the fact that he was the victim of a hit and run is uninsured motorist coverage. Uninsured and underinsured motorist coverage. This is something that few people ever think about until it's too late. And if anyone takes anything away from our talk tonight, it's please go back to your insurance agent make sure that you have purchased enough uninsured and underinsured motorist coverage. So what is enough? What is enough? I'll tell you. It almost doesn't matter because it's so cheap. Right. I got a quote from my agent last week. I have $500,000 in uninsured and underinsured motorist coverage and I pay $19.40 for that. Right. My wife and I are going to go to a movie after I leave here. I'm going to spend more at the movie than I spent on uninsured motorist coverage. Okay, real quick, why? Worst case scenario, I mean, what could happen if you don't have it? Here's, what's th here's the big thing, okay? If you're involved in a motor vehicle accident in Michigan, we have no-fault benefits, right? And so this is where people get confused. They think, well, we have no-fault benefits, I'm fine. And it's true that our no-fault system does provide for unlimited lifetime medical care for your auto accident injuries. So little Gabriel, regardless of the fact that he was the victim of a hit and run, he is going to be taken care of through our no-fault system. Right. Thank goodness. Okay? However, no-fault benefits don't cover everything. And here's the big thing, particularly for adults. If you are catastrophically injured in an automobile accident and can never work again, mm -hmm. you're only going to be able to get the first three years of your lost wages from your own no-fault insurer. Anything beyond three years, you have to get that against the person who caused the accident. So if I leave the studio tonight and I'm catastrophically hurt, right. then I have to seek my wage loss claim beyond three years against the person who hit me. But what if that person has no right. insurance coverage? That's why you have to have uninsured motorist coverage, to protect yourself against people who don't have insurance. And in this case, even though the child wasn't in a car, was hit by a car, it would then fall on the driver. And what if the driver's a hit and run? So. The child is hit by a car means he gets no-fault benefits because he's hit by a car. But the fact that he's a victim of a hit and run may mean that he has an uninsured motorist claim because we don't know who hit him, mm -hmm. which is why you have to have uninsured motorist benefits and underinsured motorist benefits. All right, some good points. And if someone wants to contact your office, how, could, how can they get a hold of you? They can uh, call us, 616-301-3333 or sinusdramus.com or just put us in Google. Tom, always good speaking with you. Lots of good information. Thanks, Christian. Thanks. One local woman using the power of